This video is created by Reda Ezdo. Hi guys, today I have a Lexus GS430 that doesn't crank. And in this video, I will show you how to diagnose a strutter control circuit problem. In short, what I did first, I checked the fuse 30 ampere of the starter and I found it ok. And I tested the starter directly, it works well. So the problem comes from starter control circuit. So now, starting by checking the power supply at the starter relay. The 12 volt comes from fused battery is ok. The ground is OK. The test lamp doesn't light up, so the 12 volt comes from power source control ECU is not OK. Rather, the power source control ECU is located under the dashboard on the passenger side. So, before making assumptions about the problem, we will make a reminder about the operating principle of the system. As you know, for the starter to be activated, the driver must press the brake pedal and put the gear shift in position, park or neutral. And when the computer power source control ECU receives information from the brake pedal sensor and start button, it controls the starter relay through the starter cut relay. So we can say that the problem can come if one of the following components is damaged. Starter relay, starter cut relay, damaged wire or connector, brake pedal sensor, park position switch, push start button, power source control ECU. So by checking the inputs, to check the brake pedal sensor it is simple, we will notice a green LED that lights up when I press the brake pedal. The inputs, brake pedal sensor and push start button are OK. So we have to check the power supply at the starter cut relay. Turn the ignition on. The 
the 12 volt ignition comes from power source control ECU is OK. The ground is OK. The 12 volt comes from power source control ECU is OK. So the power supply comes perfectly to the starter cut relay. And I think the starter cut relay is faulty. To make sure, I'm gonna make a bridge. After I meet the bridge, I will start the engine. If the engine starts, so the relay must be replaced. The engine started. Then, I have to change the starter cut relay. And here you go, after the change of the relay, the problem has been resolved.